what's up guys malik here and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you all of my trades on the nasdaq 100 today today was very much like a roller coaster i was down about 300 dollars at the start of the day and then coming up to the end of the day i recovered that you'll see how i played the bounce you'll see all of my trades take a look at it i think there's a lot of interesting things to pick out here and a lot of gems right so the first trade these are bad trades because i entered before market open entering before market open is generally a bad thing for me i did that yesterday it came out well i did it today it damaged me right it damaged me because i didn't exit the position but it damaged me overall right because i had mainly buy positions and then when a sell side trade came in i didn't take it i was taking buys i had a bias and it just kept hitting me hitting me out right so first trade here was a trade at 757 so let's go to the 745 candle so that was around here and i was looking for a buy because we were right at my zone so i entered at with a 0 0.2 actually which is kind of a heavy trade i was thinking we were going to have i had my stop loss below here i was thinking we we're going to have a push to the upside we had a sell out of this zone a break through this zone but we actually bounced off at this zone and this is where i took the bias that recovered a lot of my money there right so i'll be showing showing you all of these so entered on the 745 candle at 1551.6 right and then i actually got stopped out on the eight o'clock candle so you can see I had my stop loss right below into that zone. So when it hit me out, it was a total loss of 2140. So <clears throat> with this trade, let me show you. So I entered to the buy side on this candle, right? But I set my stop loss below here because I'm thinking if we're going to continue to the upside, it wouldn't come down here and kind of retest this area. It would basically continue going up if it came down here it basically invalidated my trade right and then the next trade you can see what i was doing i was looking for a reversal here right but this is where bias can mess you up because i'm looking for a reversal however that's totally against the trend so i'm looking for a, a huge market move in my direction and it totally goes against what the entire market was showing me. It's showing me bearish all the day, showing me a break of support. It's showing me bearish even on the structure before that, right? So I was totally wrong and bias got the best of me here. Um, this trade, so I entered here at 15124.3 and then I actually got, I actually manually closed this trade because it was just getting too bad at 15027.9 and that's where i had my stop loss at um you can see how much of a hit i took here and this was a 0 0.3 so this is one of my heavier positions so i was looking for a great reversal trade today it went totally against me for a loss of 289.20 um when it was here i could have exited but i didn't i was expecting some form of reversal i kept waiting i kept waiting and then this is where it landed me and i had to just exit it at that point like it totally was not worth it at that point the next trade i entered on the 915 candle let's actually highlight this so i entered the 915 candle that was this one so that was a nice green candle showing me a reversal however it was still wrong it was just a small breather and then the trend continued pushing down so <clears throat> entered here actually closed this one just like the other candle just closed it out as soon as i saw that it was continuing to go against me i was like yeah this trade is not worth it hit me out for a loss of 24.50 on that trade if it had went in my direction great because i would have had a lot of positions to take it to the upside i would have made a lot of money if it went in my direction at that point so the next trade now i entered this one on the 945 and if i'm moving too fast drop it in the comments i can actually go slower but you can see what i'm trading here and kind of 
slow it down reverse it to follow along so this trade i entered on the 945 at 15 000, 000, 000, 000, 6 to the buy side again and then i got stopped out on the 10 o'clock candle let's see where that was so the 10 o'clock candle so i entered on 945 i got stopped out on this week to the downside <clears throat> and that was at 14 nine seven nine and this is a very risky trade because i totally went against the trend so i entered here for a loss of 4140 so i entered here to the upside thinking about a reversal of this level i find it interesting how the price actually once you see it kind of break through two levels the last level there's a higher probability that it's going to hold and that's what i've, I've been seeing right but you can see that the zones actually make sense because we're taking it from one zone break through another zone hit this zone and came right back up into the other zone and i haven't moved these i haven't moved these i'm just actually let me actually show you with this zone i sent it right out to the end so it's gonna be a zone as long as we're playing within that range it's gonna be an important zone and you're going to see price react off of it right after it hit me out on the 10 o'clock candle, I decided, okay, okay. That's where I decided to get in to the buy side again with my stop loss below here, thinking that it would not come and reject this level again or even go much lower. And I was able to play it to the upside. So I entered here at 14.995.4. And then I manually close this trade on the 145 candle that was right here. And that's at 15090.4. Um, that was a total profit of 190. So that got me close back to the amount that I lost here. And then I had another trade right in. So I had two 0 0.2 trades right in. Entered that one on the 10 o'clock as well at 14 14 997.7 again and then i close that one on the same candle the 10 day 145 candle and that was at 15 089.6 right and that was a total profit of 183.80 so that actually got me right back up to where i was but you can see today i was down after these trades played out i was able to come back into profit looking ahead i don't think it might be worth it taking a big position um when it comes to market pre-market um that's what i'm seeing like and also following the trend don't fight the trend don't fight the trend i'll just put that as the title don't fight the trend because I'm fighting the trend here. Yes, I got a reversal, but fighting the trend is what got me into that much drawdown. And you can see that was my biggest loss ever, right? It's even bigger than my best profit on the day. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you could pull some value from it and just watch up my videos, man. Like I'm going to go crazy on this. You know it. You know it. I'm going to go crazy. If this hit, this would have went crazy. These set of trades would have went crazy. But I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I'm going to start just going a little harder, but I got to stay within the rules regardless, right? But I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. We'll be linking up with Pajama and Alston, all of them soon. You know what I mean? Link up. Bye bye.